All right, in this video today, we're going to be looking at how to create and set up your blog in your Squarespace website. So I am currently logged in to the back end of my website. So we are going to click on pages. Now I already have a couple of blogs set up on my site, but I'm going to set up a new one just so you can see how the process goes. So first thing you want to decide is where you want to put your blog. So if you want your blog to be in your primary navigation, which means it'll show up in your navigation menu on your site, um, you would want to click the plus sign here related to your primary navigation. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and create the new blog in my not linked section um, so that it does not affect my live site right now. So I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to go ahead and select blog from the create new page menu options. So from here, it's going to want me to name my blog. Now, most people will just name it blog or journal or something along those lines. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name this blog test so we can differentiate. And then it's going to pull up the actual blog itself. Um, that was easy, right? You have a blog created on your website. You can see that we are in blog test. If I click on the gear icon, it will bring up the page settings for me um, where I can change the navigation title. I can change the URL slug for my blog. I can decide how many posts want to show per page. Um, the page title, the page description, all of that good stuff. Um, we are not going to make any changes to this right now. We're just going to go in and look at how to actually create blog posts. So when you're in your blog, you want to just create the plus sign in order to create a new post. And that will just pull up the post writing window. So this is basically how you will create every single blog post on your website. So you'll enter your post title right here, blog post title. And then you'll enter the content of your blog post in this section right here. Now this section uh, for your blog posts is uh, generated the exact same way you would build a page in the Squarespace website. So you would build everything based on blocks. So this is a text block. You would just add text into the text block. And then if you wanted to add an image, you would add an image block and add that. If you wanted to add a text block under the image, you would just add another text block, so on and so forth. You can add lines, you can add videos, you can add anything that you can add on a regular Squarespace page to a blog post. So some important things to note about your blog post. So when you click on options, this is where you can alter the blog post URL if you would like to. You can add a thumbnail image, which would be displayed in various different places on your website. You can add an excerpt, which is um, useful if your blog, if your Squarespace website template offers the excerpt feature. You can uh, indicate that this is a featured post. Um, some templates and blocks will highlight a post flagged as featured. You can add your location, which I do recommend doing, at least your city and state, um, as this does play into SEO rather on a small level, but it still plays in. And then on social, you can uh, indicate that you want your blog post when published to post to your different social media sites if you have those indicated. If you do click them, yes, you will give, be given the option to add some additional text um, that will go with that post when it's published on those different sites. So down here at the bottom of your blog post window, you have the option to add tags and categories. You can also disable your contents, which I do um, not recommend doing. And then this is just kind of hidden. This is where you decide how you want your posts to actually be published. If you leave it in draft and click save, it will just stay in draft mode. If you actually click on the word draft, you'll see the different options come up to either publish the blog post right now, schedule it for future um, publishing, or you can note it as needs review. Now the scheduling feature is very uh, handy as if you are wanting to schedule your blog post for a later date, but you don't wanna go back into Squarespace and actually click the publish button. If you click scheduled, you'll see the option come up to pick the day and time that you want the post to actually publish onto your website and it will do it automatically without you having to log into Squarespace. We're gonna go ahead and leave this in draft mode. I'm gonna click save. And then you'll see that this post is, is uh, saved over here in your blog um, navigation bar. Now, if I were to create a new post, blog post test number two, and then we're just not going to change anything, but we're just going to save. You'll see that it comes right up here at the top. And as you continue to publish blog posts, they will just stack on top of each other. And you can change the order. All you would need to do is change the publish time. Now these are not actually published, but that was when they were created. So if I change the publish time to a back date, then it will change 
the order in which it shows up in your um, film strip or not film strip, but in your blog strip over here, you'll see test two is now uh, come to the bottom. So you can change the order in which things are posted by changing the publish date and time. Um, that's how you set up and create your blog on Squarespace. Hope you found that helpful. I hope you have a great day.